Hey. I think it's about time I shave this box open. I want to shave this. I don't know if you can actually shave a box. I curly shaved the ice, but you know, I'm going to shave this, uh, this tape right off of here. But I do think I need a shave, to be honest. Right, it's about that time. So, did I get it? Did I get it all the way open? Good enough. Woo! Well, these ones don't even want to pop. I mean, they're supposed to, but... Ooh, this is a big box. Look at this. This is the first time I've unboxed a Full Metal Alchemist uh, anything. I'm really excited to. Uh, I have both of the season, both of the um, animated series. I have both animes on Blu-ray. I have a game on the DS. This is my next thing. Just came out today. I can't wait. This might be a while till I can play it. But I can at least open it up right now. Um, take a peek inside. I have to. I'm curious. Can't play it now, but I can certainly look at it. So this one's based on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's the Promise Day game. Wouldn't make sense if you watched the original series. That's totally different. Did I show you the back? So we got from this side to the other side. Uh, that would be your left, my right. So we got Ori Mustang, Lisa Hawkeye, Edward Elric, of course, Alphonse Elric. That looks like, is that Ling Greed? And then we got Scar. Ages 13 plus, one to four players. I would have thought there would have been more players that we could have had, like six or something, five or six. Um, and I guess it's a 45 minute game, roughly. I should have turned the volume on my phone off. Whatever, I don't have time to be thinking about these things. Too much happening. What are these? Oh, it tells you of how to play the game, and it tells you how to play it in multiple languages. That's pretty sweet. I wonder what other languages there are. That looks like French. Yeah, this, this gotta be, yeah, that's French. This one looks like it's German. I wouldn't be surprised based on how German is incorporated into the anime. I mean, you... You watch it and you see like all these references to like German culture, you know. And then of course this is this has got to be Japanese. What else have we got? Ah, I'm dropping stuff. Hey, look at that! The pocket watch of an alchemist. There's so much stuff here. Look at all this stuff. Is there a, uh, a, a board placemat thing? It's got to be in here somewhere, right? Maybe this is the board. Yeah, this looks like it. Oh, look at that. That is so BA. Love it. <laughs> And then we got, here's what I want, everything to fall down. This doesn't even have anything in it, why is it? Round one, round two, they got seven rounds. I think that means there's seven turns. I'm confused. There's so much to learn. There's a huge instruction booklet. And then what's this? 
Is there anything? No. No, it's just the bottom of the box. And of course we've got cards, which are really small. And look at my face compared to it. They're really small cards. And look who we got on the first card. Ross, Maria Ross. No idea what these are. And then we got... Okay, so we got Sloth. And we got more cards. This time they're more like normal sized cards. With Edward Elric and Lisa Hawkeye on them. I'm gonna put everything back now. Um, I didn't plan on looking at every little piece or anything, you know. I just wanted to get my first sight and, like, you know, get to see how big it is and how big of a table you need to play it. I just need a general sense of what I'm getting into. Anyway, it should be really fun. Board game or card game. What do you call it? If it's a board game and it's a card game, there's got to be a special name for it, right? Does it have one? Like, uh, they call it the board game, but there are cards too. That's it. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.